Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Actor John Schneider is among those to have their property damaged by Hurricane Ida. The 61-year-old Dukes of Hazard actor's home and studio in Holden, Louisiana, were hit by the storm on Sunday night, according to his rep. The Star's rep told Fox News that Schneider was in Nashville helping to organise Middle Tennessee flood relief efforts when Ida hit, but is now on his way back to Holden. The extent of the damage is not yet known, but a friend sent an image of Schneider's studio from the road. Trees have been uprooted and lay atop of the studio, while it appears that a car, which was previously elevated above the studio prior to the hurricane, was surrounded by vegetation as well. Another car, which looks like the General Lee, sits in front of the studio with visible damage caused by a tree. When the image made its way onto Twitter on Monday, Schneider said that he was on the road to Holden with his wife, Alicia, and noted that it felt like they were the only ones on the road. I'm going to get a real look at the damage to Mum's house in the morning and then head back to Tennessee to continue flood relief, he shared. All people and pups are good. The star joked, may have a hurricane sale at Miss Shirley soon. Snyder Holden's home has been damaged by flooding before, having been wiped out by such a disaster in 2016, Nashville's Fox affiliate reported last week. In the flood, the actor lost personal items, matters of unfinished film projects and memorabilia from his time in the film industry. He and his wife were set to collect donations of hygiene items, cleaning supplies, water, air mattresses, batteries, gloves, sunscreen, trash page, rakes and shovels, plastic tote boxes, ice chests, non-perishable food items, diapers, pet food, toilet paper, paper towels, socks, alcohol wipes and bandages. The duo was going to bring an 18-wheeler to three locations across the state of Tennessee to collect the donations for victims of the historical rainfall in Humphreys County. Ida has caused widespread devastation in Louisiana. At least one person has died and over a million were left without power. Thanks for listening. Please like, comment and subscribe.